I'm gone for a few weeks and so much has happened. But the first thing that I want to take a look at is Lucia and the fact that it's getting deprecated. This was one of the things that actually did very well on my channel. You guys seem to really enjoy getting Lucia up and running with Cloudflare workers. So I was actually planning on making more videos around auth and setting up Lucia with like JWTs and all of that. But maybe that's going to change now. So let's take a quick look at this. Basically, Pillar Road, the person behind Lucia, is planning to deprecate it early next year and if you look through this it seems like the goal is to basically just turn it into a learning platform for people to learn about auth and at first this wasn't making much sense but the more i looked into it the more sense it's making so basically one of the major setbacks with lucia was that it had to manage a lot of different database adapters and that was a lot of complexity that the maintainer of the package had to handle but outside of that lucia surprisingly didn't do much else it basically just was handling your sessions for you and and to implement that, as we're going to take a look into that in a second, it doesn't take all that much to migrate over. All you have to do now is just handling your cookies and sessions. That's basically like five or six functions. But yeah, the complexity of managing all of the different adapters for the databases. In my case, for all of the videos, I've used Drizzle ORM. So if I continue down that path, for example, if I just create one package for my auth, I'll just be able to reuse that for every single project going forward. And in that case, you don't really need a package like Lucia. All you just need to know is just how to handle your own sessions. And then you can just go from there. Even the author, they mention how they actually implement sessions from scratch and don't actually use the library themselves and personal projects. So I think that makes a lot of sense. If anyone else told you this about their package, like any other package out there, if they were like, oh yeah, I maintain this package, but I never actually use it. I prefer to just create my own from scratch every single time. It's kind of a red flag, but in this case, it actually, with how simple the package is, it makes a lot of sense. And they even mention here that they're gonna continue maintaining their other libraries like Arctic and Oslo, which are other auth specific libraries. So it's not like they're just dropping everything. And if you're in the boat where you're kind of panicking now that, oh, I don't have something to rely on and maybe rolling your own auth is not an option you don't want to go down that path someone actually replied to this post listing out a lot of different options that you have for auth so you can use superbase you can use clerk kind a lot of these are similar some i've never used and definitely are not sponsoring this video but but yeah a lot of these are managed solutions so they handle a lot for you which comes with its pros and cons it all depends on what you're looking for. And I'm sure a lot of these can actually get really expensive if your app takes off. So that's one of the negatives here. But yeah, there's so many of them. You can even use Okta and Auth0. There's Auth.js, Better Auth, and yeah, just rolling your own, which is also an option. And in terms of what it takes to migrate away from Lucia to your own kind of, to kind of your own setup, basically you have all of these functions that you were calling from Lucia before. So you have create session, validate session, invalidate session, and then you also have create session cookie and create blank session cookie, which was basically just deleting the session. And so all you need is just the implementation of those functions. And from what I was reading, they're actually working on it, further improving the documentation, but in its current state, it's enough to get you migrated. So if you go over to the basic API, and in my case, I'll just go down the drizzle route. For Postgres, nothing's changing here. So we're still having our session table and the user table. But now instead of using Lucia, we're gonna use the Oslo package. So we're gonna need encoding and cryptography from here. And these are the different functions that we're gonna to need to use. So generate session token, create session, validate session token, and invalidate session. Definitely read through everything here. There's a lot of kind of background information that you need on how auth is supposed to work. So for example, you're not supposed to use math.random because it's not actually random. And there's a lot of other downsides as well. But for example, for generating a session token, pretty straightforward. So you just generate that random value and then you base 32 encode it and that's your token. Token. And for creating the session, you basically just take that token and you turn it into a SHA-256 hash. And so once you have your session ID, you can create your session object, which basically just has that session ID, the user ID, and when this would expire, which is just 30 days from now. After that, you just insert that into your database and then you have the new session. For validating the session, this can actually look very intimidating, but it's actually pretty simple once you break it down. So again, you get your session ID from the token provided. You try seeing if if that session exists in the database for that specific user. If you don't have a result, then you don't have a session for that user. But if you do have a result, then we also have to check if that session has expired. If the session expired, 
then the user will have to re-authenticate. Another use case here is renewing that session. So for example, in this case, there's less than 15 days until expiry. We just renew that session. So we'll just refresh it to be 30 days from now and just update that in the database. And at the end, we just return that valid session. Invalidating the session is basically just deleting it from the database. So that's pretty straightforward. And if you're feeling lazy, there's all the code here provided as well. So you have all those functions. Now there's also cookies. Cookies I think are actually more straightforward now. So for example, you have the set session token cookie. This basically just sets that cookie in the header that you're returning to the client. There's different cases here, for example, on production and local, it's a bit different. Since in production, we're most likely using HTTPS. We wanna make sure that that cookie is secure. For deleting the session token, we basically just set that cookie to a blank and that deletes it. And now in the back end, whenever you get a request, you can just grab your session from the cookies. So then you get your token. And with that token, you can call your function that we created earlier. So you just do validate session token. It conveniently just placed all of them in a session.js file. So you can just easily reuse these across your entire project. But yeah, basically if I was to kind of look at that Cloudflare workers and bun Hano drizzle project that I had where I was implementing Lucia, this would now be very straightforward. So here, basically, instead of calling Lucia create session, if you just look at the documentation, so create session, we now just have to do generate session token and create session. Same thing for Lucia dot create session cookie. So create session cookie is down here. All you have to do is just call set session token cookie. And that's basically it. You don't have to do a lot more. It's pretty straightforward to migrate this line will actually make a lot more sense now so instead of calling create blank session cookie we can now just call it delete session token cookie which as you're reading the code makes so much more sense part of this is you also don't need to initialize lucia anymore and you also don't need all of these adapters and the modules anymore but if you're looking for a bit more guidance on how to do this i'll leave a branch down below of this repo where i've migrated from lucia to the new way of doing things but yeah